Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Queen Cancer Tarot. And I'm your host. My name is Catherine. I'm here to bring you all clarity, guidance, and love messages. And we are here with a special reading tonight. We are going to be doing divine feminine and divine masculine energy in this reading. So please, please stay tuned. Those of you who are interested in a uh, divine feminine, divine masculine reading, twin flame, twin soul, twin karmic, um, either way, this message is for you. So please tune in and we are going to be getting started in just a moment. I'll be right back. All right, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to do a special reading this evening. I was going to do Cancer versus them, and I said, nah, I'm going to treat Cancers. It is their birthday month, y'all, ain't it? So I'm going to try to do uh, some special spreads this month. I'm going to do some uh, spreads that I developed of my own. Um, Every tarot reader has a favorite spread that they like to use or a classic spread. And they also have spreads that they have developed of their own that they like as well. Um, it's just something that I've noticed. OK, um, I like to pick up different spreads of different tarot readers and I like to use my own. And um, I like to use some of the classic spreads that have just come over time, like the Celtic cross. Y'all know the classic um, three card spread and all of that. One card spread, two cards. There's all kinds of different spreads. So, and we have the twin flame spread and we're going to do divine masculine, divine feminine. And this is a twist on different divine masculine, divine feminine or twin flame readings. Um, there's no specific way per se, okay, to do it, um, as long as you're recognizing both parties, um, you know, you can do it whatever way you want to do it. But this is the way that I am going to do it on today. Okay, so we've got... Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. We'll start with the Divine Feminine. And then we'll go to the Divine Masculine Energy. So Divine Feminine and then the Divine Masculine. We'll look at overall energy for both. We'll look at how each person sees the other person. We'll look at how each person sees the connection We'll look at any past life connection or what happened previously with this person for both. We'll look at the challenge or the karmic lesson that needs to be learned with this person for both sides. We'll look at the soul contract or purpose for the connection, okay, um, for both parties. We'll look at the current state of the connection in the eyes of both. And we'll look at um, the potential outcome, okay, for both parties. If nothing else changes with the current state of the connection, basically. 
Okay, so overall connection, current state of connection, two different things. Okay, you might be currently fighting, but overall this person may think that, you know, you're the person that they want to grow old with. You know what I mean? So, or vice versa. So, um, okay, and then we'll go into an extended and answer some additional questions in the extended um, and look at the next three months with this particular twin flame. We'll look at all of that in the extended, um, but for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the overall energy for the divine feminine. What is the overall energy for the divine feminine, please? All right. And we're going to use a feminine deck here, my Mystic Mondays. This was the very first deck that I got. Every deck, every card in this deck is a feminine energy. So we have the Princess of Swords instead of the Page. Okay, we do have Kings and Queens, but as far as like the Pages, they're Princesses. And uh, all the most majority... Like we have the hanged woman instead of the hanged man type. You know what I'm saying? It focuses on the feminine. And I have another deck that also is very much focuses on feminine energy, which would be good to use. right at this moment. Hold on. Mm. It's like, of course, I'm not going to be able to locate that deck when I'm really looking for it, which I think I have it right now. I think I'm touching it. I think I have it in my hand. Or is that a different deck? Oh, that's a different deck. I've got so many decks. I can't I just can't with myself right now. I'll locate it. I'm not going to be able to locate it right this moment, though. It's somewhere. <laughs> um, but let's just see. What is the overall energy for this divine feminine here? Holy Spirit, angel, guys, tell me about... Cancer, please. And however you fall in, if you are the divine feminine in the connection, or or and I don't mean as far as uh sex is related, I mean your energy, okay. Okay, so Divine Feminine is more feelings, emotions, okay, um, and thinking about a situation. Um, and also, I'm going to say Divine Masculine goes into analytical, but it's more doing and acting and do you know what I'm saying? So there's a difference between divine feminine and divine masculine energy taking on more of a role of, of providing. Do you know what I mean? Versus nurturing energy and men can be in the nurturing energy and women can be in that provider energy. It doesn't make them any less female or, you know what I mean? So that's why we're not getting into sex here. So divine feminine. What is the overall energy behind the divine feminine and the connection? Okay. And we have the page of cups. Definitely an emotional approach. Someone who is definitely thinking things through a second and a third time 
in their head about a situation. Um, someone who's emotionally in a place of wanting things to be, you know, hoping, wishing, dreaming, daydreaming, wanting something to happen. Four of Cups under the deck. There's an energy of being a little bit distant because you're really in your head or there's an energy of being concerned that your person is not really connected to you. They don't really have the same wants for the connection that you do. Their feelings aren't quite the same. There's a separation, there's a disconnect between your feelings and this divine masculine. Okay, so overall, you're in your head and you're disconnected, you're somewhere else. You know what I mean? You're just, you're thinking about something. There's something on your mind. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, it may have nothing to do with your person immediately, but there's something that's on your mind that's pulling you away, just away. Let's clarify and see what that means here. I'm going to use this deck. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the divine feminine here. Tell me about this page of cups. What is this divine feminine it's overall energy with this page of cups, please? Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about this page of cups. So we have the world. So there's something that is ending or shifting. There's some sort of a change that's taking place. And it's got this divine and feminine in their head about it. Wondering when is, you know, the ball going to drop or <laughs> when is this going to end? So someone is kind of numb, emotionally, disconnected, waiting for something to end here. And look, we have the devil here under the deck, Capricorn energy here. So there's a vibe of something very toxic that this divine feminine is waiting to come to an end. Okay, but not saying anything about it, just being very emotionally disconnected, not talking to their person much, not being very involved at all. <laughs> Probably no relations, no anything. There's just kind of like to themselves. Tell me about the Four of Cups. They would rather just spend time having their peace. You know what I'm saying? And look, we have the moon. We have the moon. So again, there's an energy of waiting for something to happen and perhaps contemplating what direction to go. Not really sure what to do. Um, with that four of cups, there's an energy of, again, someone who is like contemplating. They're thinking about something. Hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, under the deck, six of pentacles here. All right, six of pentacles. So the moon and the six of pentacles. So um, contemplating on where... I feel like there's an energy of where you're going to get help in getting out of this situation. You're thinking about what move you're going to make, um, how you're going to get out of this situation. This could be a long-term um, 
situation, something you've been involved in for a while now. And again, this has been very toxic for you. This person could have some addictions. There could be someone who, you know, that is just a toxic obsession, but you've been in a connection with this person and it has been very unhealthy. Okay. Um, but let's see, Can, let's look at it paired with the the divine masculine and what's going on with them. Let's look at this divine masculine overall. Okay. While you're disconnecting numb in your head, trying to make a decision on how this is going to end in a situation for a long time, not sure how you're going to get out of it. Okay. Like a toxic situation with someone who's addicted to something could be third party energy, narcissistic behavior, controlling, um, drugs, alcohol, cheating, you know, porn addictions, whatever the case may be, um, just in a negative situation. And, you know, this could be even someone who is abusive, um, in some manner, but let's look at your person's energy here. Um, okay. Tell us about the divine masculine in this connection. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell us about the divine masculine as it pertains to cancer. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, Tell us about the divine masculine as it pertains to cancer and their overall energy. And look at that. So definitely an energy of someone going through some changes or something um, that this person is uh, trying to walk away from or letting go of, or there's the energy of this person going through some changes. They're coming out of some sort of a, a period where they have just changed. This is an energy of this person is different with the Knight of pentacles. Um, I feel like this has been a, a long time like it's been a long span like it did this person didn't just change overnight this is taking some time um but this person is also determined to do something good this person is wanting to change from their ways okay but i feel like you know, you have temperance here. I just feel like there's an energy of this person maybe apologizing, but it may be a little bit too late. I feel like this has gone on for a while. I feel like it's gone on for a while. Tell me about the death card, please. Tell me about the death card for this divine masculine. What? Okay, what's changing? So we have the two of wands in the reverse. Okay, so this is someone who is afraid of something changing. This talks about fear of change. The two of wands in the reverse, this is someone who's you know, when it's in the upright, this person is making plans to make a decision. They're leaving their comfort zone. In this situation, they're they're not wanting to leave. So I feel like the, in this energy, this person knows that you're going. They know that the this is a toxic situation. They know that it's bad, cancer. They know that it's bad. This divine masculine knows that things are bad, yet they are afraid of letting you go. They're afraid of this, this change. They're afraid to see things change. They could count on you. This is someone that was relying on you, relying on you for being there, you know, someone they could count on. And with the Ace of Wands, like there was some thing that happened that caused 
things to escalate. And I feel like this person may have lost their temper. There was some sort of argument where this person showed their true toxicity. They showed the level of toxicity that exists with the world and the devil. This is something, this is something that while it's been going on for some time, but there's something that took place that caused things to end. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Look, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. This is an energy of, listen, this person counted on this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is very giving, very compassionate, always, you know, taking care of home, taking care of their person. This divine feminine is on top of this divine masculine. And with the thought of separation, this is not, this is making this person feel like they're losing the only person they could count on. Okay. Um, but it's like they didn't think things through. They acted in a moment of, it was like passion. I'm seeing this, like they acted in a moment of passion. They didn't think things through. They let their emotions overtake them. Like this double energy, it's just like they went too far. Like they always do, they went too far here. So let's see how each of these divine energies see one another. Starting with the divine feminine, how is the divine feminine see the divine masculine? How is the divine feminine see, or yeah, the divine masculine? How does, okay. And we have the hermit. It's like, there's an energy of not sure, looking, thinking, looking over the entire situation, but definitely saying that they need to step back and be at a distance, okay? They see this divine masculine as a threat to their energy and their peace and their, maybe even their safety. They feel vulnerable and they're ready to go. They're ready to go. Okay, this feminine energy is ready to go. <laughs> All right, thinking like looking in the mirror, like what, what did I do? Okay, um, look, ready to go. See, the chariot, I'm telling you right now, Cancer. I feel like this is your energy. You're coming in as this divine feminine here. You are coming in in this divine feminine energy here. Hermit and the chariot. You're ready to go. Let's clarify it real quick. Tell me about this hermit, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about the hermit, please. And we have the seven of wands. Listen, you're in an energy of needing to protect your space, protect yourself, protect everything that, you know, is important to you. And you can't have this toxic energy around you. You need to get away from it. Even if you're not walking away with the seven of pentacles, it's like, even if there's a chance that, you know, we'll get back together later. If there's going to be any hope of survival, there's an energy of, you know, this person is thinking about long term. The divine. Seven is a number of the divine. And I feel like spirit is saying to protect 
your assets, to protect your future, to protect your blessings, to protect everything that you've worked for and get away from this energy, okay? It's saying not to think twice on this situation, to just go, pack your bags, put them in the car, and just go. Just go. Don't think about it. Tell me about the chariot, please. Cancerian energy, please. Okay. And look, seven of cups and the eight of pentacles. Don't think about it. Just take care of you. Just do you, sis. Do you. Divine feminine energy. Do you. Take care of you right now. Seven of cups. There's a lot of emotions. Okay. With the will of fortune, do what's best for you. You will be blessed. You will be blessed. You are protected. You are divinely guided. Okay? And definitely there's an energy of karma um, is, you know, taking place. So I definitely know you're protected. And whatever somebody tries to do, it's going to come back on them. All right? So... Divine Masculine. How are you seeing the Divine Masculine? Or how is the Divine Masculine seeing you? You're wanting to protect yourself at all means. And what is this Divine? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay, this person is in their feelings. This is somebody who's in their feelings, their feelings are hurt, they're super sensitive, under the deck, the fool, the, they're vulnerable, they're vulnerable, they're sensitive, they're irritable, they're moody, and they may see you in an energy of, you know, mistreating them, like they're just the innocent victim, and they see you as someone who is doing something to them. Interesting. And why did this card stay down? Why did that card stay down? Six of Wands. So this person is definitely in their ego. They feel like people are watching you leave them. Okay. Hanging off a cliff here. And they feel extremely super vulnerable and they're super sensitive in their feelings and very angry about what's happening. They're like, how can you emotionally disconnect from me? How can you put me at a distance and tell me to go somewhere while you figure life out? Like, I'm supposed to be the one doing this. I'm the devil energy. I'm the one that's supposed to instill the fear. Ace of swords in the reverse. The hermit. See, how can you pull back your energy on me? There's an energy of this person is now finding themselves just as like they're questioning everything now. They're trying to figure out, well, why is cancer pulling back on me? How can cancer not want to talk to me? How can cancer hide from me or want to take a break? Like, what is that? What is that? See, the hangman under the deck. <laughs> is this going to be a challenge here? Because this is what I'm telling you. This person is waiting and contemplating and they're left with their feelings hurt at the end of all this because with the judgment card you know everybody can see them everybody is watching okay they feel extremely exposed with the ten of pentacles this could be an energy of other members in the family okay other people that are in the household or, you know what I'm saying? Watching page of swords. This is an energy of, you know, all my businesses in the streets. People are talking about me. People are, you know, talking behind my back, gossiping. So this person is concerned about their image and how they look um, to others. And they feel as though you're ruining their image. Okay. So, Let's see how this divine feminine and divine masculine 
see the overall connection, okay? Not the current state, but the overall connection, okay? How does this divine feminine see the overall connection? Well, that came out quick. Do y'all see that? <laughs> this is somebody that's like, you know what? I Hold up, wait right there before you get any closer. Stay right over there. Stay right there. No, nope. scoot back a little bit further. Okay, that's good. You can go further. Um, but yeah, this person is like, I'm good with you over there with the seven of cups under the deck. Too much confusion. Seven of swords. Listen, these both of these sevens, all four sevens, you got on this divine feminine side here. Seven of pentacles and the seven of wands. Now you have the seven of cups and now you have the seven of swords. You have all freaking four sevens. Might I tell you from two different decks. Okay, because the first two sevens were from this deck. The second two sevens were from that deck. Don't let the smooth taste fool you. Okay. Do you see where I'm going with this? You don't trust this person. And you're like, I'm good with you 50 feet back. We can talk, you know, I'll answer your questions. I'll communicate with you, but I don't trust you. And I, I don't know what you got going on. So you just stay over there. There's a lack of trust somehow. And why? So tell me about this queen of swords. There's an energy of give me 50 feet. You stay back, Jack. I'm good. You stay over there. Ace of cups here. So this is someone, this is talking about someone wanting to have a second chance or someone wanting to have or someone wanting to uh, do something intimate or be emotional and you're like oh, wait I'm good I, I don't need all the the lovey-dovey I'm good two of swords this is a decision to cut this person off okay in this way so there is no emotional connection with this person whatsoever, none, okay? You don't trust them and where they've been and what they've been doing. Tell me about the seven of swords and the seven of cups. It's like this person has had multiple people. This person has a toxic addiction to like cheating, cheating. And we have the four of swords. Like you don't want to have anything to do with this person. You are healing from this. There's an energy of this person may have been. You don't know where this person has been. You know, there's an energy of you have no clue. You have no clue. See, with the eight of swords, you don't know what this person has been doing. You can't, you don't trust this person any further than you can see them. And it's like, you know what? You stay over there and I'll be over here. Okay, there is an energy of leave me alone right now type deal. I'm telling you right now. Peace. You don't trust them. You can't see them. You're blocking this person's advances. You don't want nothing to do with it. So how is the divine masculine see the overall connection? Oh, that one in too many cards, too many cards, but I have to take it. So we have the two of cups. Okay. Two of cups in the reverse, the five of pentacles in the the reverse and temperance in the reverse. So this person is in the energy of either you forgive me, do you know what I'm saying? And take me back or, you know, with the five of pentacles in the reverse, this is like, you know, wanting forgiveness, forcing this person to forgive you. Okay. Temperance. There's something this person is using 
to hold over this person. It's like some sort of an ultimatum is being given. Okay. And with that two of cups in the reverse, this is a broken promise. This is someone who is um, being manipulative. Okay. This is also an energy of somebody who's extremely codependent. And they are giving an ultimatum here because they want they want you to take them back and to forgive them for what they've done and be happy about it. See what I'm saying? Like never speak about it again type energy. Just be satisfied. Under the deck, five of wands. This is a pure conflict with the three of cups. Like you're just supposed to be okay with this person, you know, sleeping around with what friends we have the devil energy here see it's not going away this person has been toxic this person has you know obviously this person has been involved in multiple connections okay this person is out with multiple people constantly saying they're out with friends or doing this and that and they're doing other things like just disgusting, absolutely disgusting, all because of some image. They feel like you have humiliated them in front of their friends and family. Oh gosh, tell me about this Two of Cups in the reverse, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, and Temperance in the reverse. It's quite a few. Holy Spirit, angels and God. Tell me about this energy, please. Look, nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yo, I can't make this up. This is somebody who literally is, they've gone too far. They've gone too far. And now this person is making some sort of an outrageous request. Okay. Um, or they're trying, they're obsessed with, trying to get you back because they have, you know, they haven't done well with their blessing, with what they had. Look, Ten of Swords, they betrayed you. They betrayed you. They they put the, the final sword in and then wanted to take it back. Do you know what I'm saying? Six of Cups, see? They want you to come back to them they want you to re to remember everything that was good about everything not the bad not all these ten swords ignore the ten swords cancer according to the divine masculine okay ignore those ten swords you know just come back and you're just supposed to listen tell me about the five of wands three of cups and the devil Five of Wands, Three of Cups, and the Devil. Eight of Wands. Oh, there is going to be a very, very passionate conversation or bunch of words that this person is going to be getting. It ain't going to be pretty. Six of Cups, like they're still trying. And I feel like they're going to get their feelings hurt. Like, literally, see, we have a very, with this Queen of Wands, this talks about someone that is external or coming in from the outside, um, coming back in here. I feel like this Queen of Wands may come in doing something very bold, very strong, very bold. Okay, this is an energy of being very bold. Um, so this Queen of Wands may come in while this person is like begging for you back and may like blow this person out of the water. You know what I mean? And it's just going to be like, you know what? I can't even believe you. you're even trying to get me back you know what i mean why don't you go and be with felicia <laughs> the person that you obviously were 
very busy and active with. Why don't you go in and do that now? <laughs> so, yeah, no. You're saying no. So, let's see. What is the past life connection or what happened in the past on both party sides? Looking at the divine feminine. Okay, what is the past life connection here on the divine feminine side? What happened in this divine feminine's past that has brought this current situation to its current status. So Knight of Cups, there's a lot of flirting that was taking place. So there's an energy of someone who is, you know, going back and forth and being very flirty. Let's just put it that way. And with the Strength card under the deck, this represents someone who's been holding back they've been holding back like they've been holding back they've been very very patient they have been very very true very loyal this is someone who is loyal someone who does the right thing they don't you know other people will flirt with them but they haven't reached out to other people people have even offered their phone number whole relationships like you know what baby if you just give me a chance, this is what I'll do with you and this and this and that. Right when you like in a conversation and you're just like, oh, have a good weekend. See you next time. You know, maybe you see this person at a business or something on a regular basis, you know, and they're constantly coming at you. But you're constantly doing the right thing. And I feel like that is what it was. You were loyal in the past. See, Ace of Cups, you were loyal. You did the right thing. This person or people tried you in very intimate, emotional ways. They tried it. They tried you. <laughs> and you pushed the, these people off or away or back. And I feel like this person didn't return your loyalty with the same actions here. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. I feel like you've had a very attractive offers, but you've taken none of them. Even when you were hurt, Emperor here. This is an energy of this person being safe. Even though others flirted with you, no matter what others did, you still kept the integrity of the connection you were honorable three of wands this is an energy of somebody who's trying to get you to step out but you didn't you stayed right there on the throne right there waiting for your emperor strength card and the ace of cups like you held out you held back and you did you didn't you didn't and go for these opportunities. See, Ten of Cups. People were offering you very beautiful, beautiful packages. Do you understand? Including love here. And you said no. Page of Cups under the deck. You were sitting trying to, you know, you were just kind of in your head, over, over, over your head is what I want to say. But you were head over heels in love with this person and you didn't disrespect them. Not like they did you. But what happened in their past life? Let's see what's going on in this person's past. Okay, that's affecting the connection now. What did this person do in the past that affects the connection right now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And look, we got the Empress in the reverse. <laughs> Came out in the upright, but it went down in the reverse. And we have the King of Swords. So this is, listen, this person came in and out of an Empress's energy and turned this Empress into a very insecure energy. There's no growth. There's no progress. And there's an energy of 
leaving as soon as things aren't working out for this person there's an energy of they walk out they walked out on their empress when things weren't going their way this is what they did in the past they were very unloyal you were very loyal and this person was very unloyal look at you under the deck queen of cups here and the ace of wands this person acted without even thinking this person had a one night stand you know here you are sitting here you're looking staring at this cup waiting on your emperor to come back or you know sitting there by the throne and this person is making a passionate decision they're making a decision without thinking is what they're doing king of swords and the empress in the reverse king of swords and the empress in the reverse and we have the six of swords like you're moving you're running away from this situation and this person ran away they left they walked out and with the sun the truth as soon as the truth was revealed see five of wands i feel like as soon as the truth came out that they were cheating or involved in other relationships i feel like they they left Perhaps when this Queen of Wands comes in to make their announcement, this person is going to run off. They're not going to be accountable to the truth or they're going to try to intimidate you to where it doesn't have to be discussed. You know what I mean? Somebody who will turn on you when you find out the truth, they will turn on you and try to trauma bond you into thinking that they'll leave you, you know, if you continue the nonsense so that you don't have to discuss the truth. That is a narcissist behavior. Tell me about this Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This is an argument or look, and we have the Three of Pentacles. Like, why won't you just, you know, work with me, just agree with me, agree to agree. Just agree to agree with the Knight of Swords. And you're like, hell no. With the Hierophant. Like, I, are you nuts? Like, I have learned my lesson. There's an energy of this is that game-changing moment for you. When you just feel so repulsed by this person. And this is what changed everything for you. This person's energy, their attitude, the way that they um, responded to their own bad behavior. They made it worse being arrogant. They made it worse being arrogant. So what's the soul contract or the purpose? Let's just pull some oracle. Soul contract or the purpose for the divine feminine? Love. What did I tell you? Number three. <laughs> What did I tell y'all? This is Empress energy. Number three in the major arcana represents Empress. This is gorgeous. And that is what your purpose is. And you want to live in that purpose. It's not going to be the opposite. It's not going to be the opposite. Tell me about love for the divine feminine. Look, the lovers. Look at this. You can't I can't make this up. I'm not going to start making it up. Cancers. Gorgeous energy. And the king of cups underneath the deck. So, listen. Um Your sole purpose is to love and and I feel like even with the King of Cups, it's like an energy of, you know, keeping your emotions at bay, keeping a cool head, keeping a cool head. And um, not being emotionally overwhelmed here, Eight of Cups. Okay, 
learning how to walk away when it is not love, when things aren't balanced, when you, you know that this is not your soul tie. Your purpose, your soul contract. Um, this is actually the challenge in the karmic lesson. This is funny. I'm sorry. This is a challenge in the karmic lesson. So it's funny because I, I was like, I skipped something. So the past life connection, then the challenge and karmic lessons. So that's it for you, cancers. It's love for the divine feminine. This is the soul. This is the karmic lesson. This is the challenge is controlling your emotions, keeping your emotions at bay when this person doesn't reciprocate that love back to you. Okay. With the eight of cups not being emotionally overwhelmed, being able to control those emotions. That's going to be your lesson with this person. I'm telling you right now, tell me about the lovers and the king of cups. And we have the four of cups and the seven of swords. When this, when you find out this person is a lying cheat, you know what I'm saying? With that four of cups, are you going to be able to separate yourself? And I believe the answer is yes, because that's what you were doing at the beginning of this reading. Okay. We had the page of cups and the four of cups. Okay. So this is you, you know, in your head, thinking things through. Yes, you are emotional about a situation. You're in your feelings, but with the four of cups, you are completely numb. You are not letting this person move you. And I feel like that is going to be, that is going to be the biggest, most important thing for you. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. Ace of Pentacles, this is like a new opportunity. This is going to bring about what you want down the line. Do you understand? Being in control of those emotions. So what is the karmic lesson for your person or the divine masculine? Because this is so cool. Um, so cool. And we got car. Oh my God. Y'all. I just said, what is the karmic lesson or challenge for your divine masculine? And this is the card that I just randomly pulled out of the stack of cards. Karmic message spirit come through and we have 37 this is this ending remember what did i tell you what do we start with with your person's energy what do we start with the ending the death card what did i tell you what did i tell you letting go when it's just done and over with just accepting the fact that it's over accepting the fact that it what's done is done and there's no coming back from this. Tell me more about the divine masculine and this karmic message or lesson. Wow. Justice, oh my God. And the two of swords, accepting the fact that it's over. Look at this. This is karma. Justice talks about karma. Karmic message. The message is that it's over. Seven plus three is ten. Ten represents endings. Rep just, just acknowledge that it's over. Under the deck, seven of wands. Stop fighting. Six of cups. The past, leave the past in the past. Let bygones be bygones. You can protect everything that's good, but you also have to remember the things that you did that were extremely bad. All right. So there's the challenge for the divine masculine. Um, and we're going to let that mark part one of this reading. We'll come back with part two and we'll look at the soul contract or the purpose for the connection, the current state of the connection. And then we will focus on the potential outcome. If nothing else changes with 
the current state of the connection, okay? We'll talk about all of that in part two. Thank you guys for tuning in to this important message for Cancer, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Twin Soul Connection. Is it? Is it not? We'll see coming up in the part two. Love you. Bye. Bye.